Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... First mate Rakir at your service and what the heck happened to my head again? <laughs> okay, let me just fix that up. Uh, yeah, I moved around the stuff in OBS a bit. To clean things up a bit and <laughs> with that I accidentally overrode you, your, your avatar there. Um, Anyways, welcome to Showcase Sunday. This should be number 65, but I forgot to keep track again before time. Uh, but I, I think last time, or last week, it was number 64, I believe. I can always check. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we can use yeah, the server to check. <laughs> Anyways, while she's doing that... Uh, Showcase Sunday is where we, well, on Sunday, we try out uh, about about four games for about half an hour each. We might jump early if uh, a game just won't be any fun, because we're mostly doing this to see if uh, any of these are good for streaming, or to just show them off. And, well, the first one we're at is Anno 2070, which is a game I originally skipped because... Um, I forget the exact details, but it can be a bit annoying of a game. Especially since in, in the story, or the campaign, the campaign here, uh, it doesn't actually tell you that... Mo Usually in games like this, you will, when you start a new mission, you will get a new area and you will have to start building up again. Because this is basically a city builder game, like the entirety of the Anno series. Um, but the only thing with this one was that uh, yeah, during across some of the levels, you will, your cities will be saved. So if you uh, kind of screwed up with them, yeah, you're going to <laughs> you're going to be pretty sick of that. But uh, here, yeah, let's start the timer and start yeah, the also, chapter. I, I checked and we own the correct number. Okay. Okay, starting the timer, mission one. You travel to Site th uh, 13 on behalf of Global Trust Inc. Uh, to assist in the execution of the two-year plan. Fulfilling the two-year plan will at last bring me the prestige with Global Trust that is my due. An urgent assignment from Global uh, Trust uh, sen <coughs> sends you to Site 13, where Thor Strindberg is in charge of supplying the company with valuable raw materials. The atmosphere on site is tense as production is stagnating and the hydroelectric power plant isn't supplying enough energy. However, the Global Trust Board still insists on strict observance of the two-year plan. I have played this game for quite some time before, but uh, from that I'd say, yeah, I wouldn't find it too interesting to stream. Even though it is a nice game. The Ark has reached the target coordinates. And this is that arc. <laughs> so, here you are at last. Thor Strindberg. We've already had the pleasure. And in view of the situation, I suggest we dispense with further formalities. I don't remember if this counts as the tutorial or if that was separate. We use these plants to produce coal and oil on a large scale. And production is on the rise. The new two-year plan from head office is a real challenge. I still use oil. Yep. We need more energy to further increase production. All we really lack is a powerful turbine for the hydroelectric power. I'll have to double check if subtitles are on because they are describing what they are saying in a way, but they aren't giving direct subtitles. Uh, okay. You will be in charge of the turbine redesign. Yeah. Let me see. The quote is the thing. Construction optimized. By the way, optimized. Global Trust sent you a care package. The crates are in the way here, so pick them up immediately. Command chip ready to go. Navigation systems online. Okay, let's see. Uh, so this this is a bit disorientating. Let, uh, there it is. Let's see. Sound is typically where it's on. this. Yep. Yeah, let's turn those to on. 
Oh dear. I did know there was a few touristic on those areas. I know they had many in entry handles and such, but in the future, they didn't know of. Now this, I don't remember if this game got much attention back in the time. And I, I'm not, I haven't been, I haven't had too much contact with the Anno series. Like the most I've had was this game the, for the time that I played it. At last, can we now move on to the next point? Good. There's a small island to the southwest. Go and build your base there without delay. And, well, the reference in Technomage. <laughs> Can you even afford that? Shut up, you. Okay, we've gotten the goods. With that, we should be able to set up over here. And, but yeah. Basically, we need to go make a turbine for his da hydroelectric dam. Are we, are we still on Earth? I think... I think this is still Earth, but uh, I forget the lore, but it's probably after a, a lot of land got flooded. Or this is out in some uh, fictional ocean. I forget which. Let's see. This uninhabitable island, we have on this place we can find vegetables and tea. And we can build a harbor Perfect. from this warship. Let's see. From here, how do we do this? Information on settlement foundation available. Loading base site plan. Okay, city center creates a construction area for houses, satisfies the need for community. Okay, so this is basically the tutorial. We can, well, we need a city center in every city. And the range around it, that is where we can build. So obviously we do not run red areas like the the, <coughs> the coast or mountains. So let's put her down Warning. there. Insufficient accommodation. Construction of residences recommended. Yeah. We need to build houses for people, of course. Though a, I think we need to keep some distance because we actually need to have roads between everything as well. And this, uh, annoyingly, the city center is, let's see, six by five, or no, six by eight. So you can't perfectly build houses around it. Uh, let's, ah, there we go, roads. We need these to connect everything. Green means connect, of course. And we might as well completely surround this place and build outward from there. And yeah, it's easy to see where we can and can't build because there's no there's no line of sight on its outside. Let's see. New island. Okay, uh, we could read through this, but that's probably going to take a hell of a lot longer. Now, what do we actually want here? Do we, I think we need to connect or. Uh, oh, that's the destruction tool, I think. It has been a bit since I've played this. Uh, yeah, let's build a road over to our harbor here. And let's see. We are making some profit off of taxes, I believe. From uh, No, we are... Okay, we do... Yeah, we have tax income plus 13. But our maintenance outweighs that. So we are currently losing money. So we're just going to need to put down a whole bunch more housing. Warning. More building materials required. Loading information okay. to ensure supplies. And yeah. We need basalt crushers to produce, well, granules, which can then be turned into building materials using a smelter. So let's put... Let's see, we need these to connect as well, so there. And then a smelter we can stick right Warning. next to it. Food shortage imminent. Emergency measures required. And yes. Food People need to insured. eat. <laughs> Problem solved. So we need to put down fisheries for that. I um, hope this hmm. quest will not overtax your ability. Let's see. He wants turbine parts, but we can't mo make those at the moment. Is that it? I can see what the problem is with this turbine. 
Nothing we can't fix once yeah, we brought it over. Okay. Select the turbine construction site to find out more about current problems. This is over here. We would have started work long ago, but obviously there's not enough energy to get the plant into operation. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need Scanning more energy, energy production. Supply. Conclusion four. Recommend countermeasures. And for that, we need coal power. And, well, that requires coal, of course. <laughs> so, let's Energy put that level down. Stabilized. Successful optimization. Congratulations. Yeah, I can see why you don't want to stream this. <laughs> yeah, it, it might Receiving be... Urgent mm -hmm. message. Engineer Peterson, risk analysis for the use of an optimized turbine. If you don't do something, the situation will soon be hopeless. Let's see. Esteemed board, I've heard you're planning to use an optimized turbine to increase the energy, uh, yeah, energy capacity of our hydroelectric power plant. I must advise strongly against it from a technical point of view. A hydroelectric, a hydroelectric plant is designed to work under a specific load. We already reached that maximum value with the last increase in production. However, the optimized turbine will increase the load even further. In a worst-case scenario, the turbine mounts could fail under the extra load and break apart. As the already long overdue maintenance of the dam has been rescheduled for the next quarter at Thorn Stringberg's uh, specific request, I cannot guarantee the stability of the structure. The load buffer makes the likelihood of disaster difficult to assess, but the fact that I cannot guarantee the safety and integrity of the dam... Yeah, this fact... Oh, the fact is that... Yeah, that uh, can it, the turbine upgrade could have catastrophic consequences. I beg you to reconsider the installation of the optimized turbine until I have had time to carry out the appropriate safety checks. These could be completed in just three days. Yours sincerely, Eng Engineer Peterson. Sender of mail located. Location, hydroelectric power plant. Contact recommended. Uh, let's see, we can keep some more. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure of these... Uh... Yeah, it's gonna be hard to commentate uh, for when uh, is uh, what the place speak the, the damn pop pop has been appearing. Yeah, they also like to just interrupt you constantly like that. Okay, we can't connect that one, so we'll just have to demolish it quickly. And let's see, the hydroelectric plant is over here. So you received my message. If the optimized turbine is installed before testing, the results could be disastrous. Well, I'm powerless, but maybe Mr. Strindberg would listen to you. Let's see. Let's move your commander's ship to uh, Strindberg's warehouse to warn him about the impending da um, danger of a dam failure. Okay, so we have it over here. We just need to move it over here, I believe. Still making a loss at the moment. But let's try and fix that somewhat. Building materials. Yes, yes, Peterson again. He senses danger everywhere. The decision has been made to use the new turbine, so take these materials to the turbine construction site. And he just doesn't want to listen. Okay. We just have more cargo to move over. So let's do that for now and let <laughs> let him fall on his own sword when things go wrong. Yeah. Away. Like I, I, I would have done security checks upon security checks, just to ah. be sure. Ah, at least that works, but uh, progress here is still slow, just the same. See for yourself. Okay, what is going on now? We're almost done here, but Mr. Strindberg just keeps piling on the pressure. Without more workers, we'll never meet his deadline. Ugh. <sighs> Calculating optimal number of skilled workers for the turbine construction. Extrapolating residential space required. Calculations completed. I am registering progress. Congratulations. Okay, we need to get a certain Did you amount of my oh. instructions to the letter. So with the work completed, Stringberg asks impatiently if you're already ready to deliver the following. We should be, I think, because we got enough workers beforehand. Yep. 
Stop whining, Peterson. The tests can still be carried out later. As soon as that turbine is installed, the power plant must be brought to full power. To full power? Without testing? Sheer madness! The structural integrity of the dam won't be able to take it. Yeah, power production is never put to maximum capacity on the, the first go. The is down. The mounts are breaking. We have to get out of here. Everyone out! And, well, the predictable happens. Peterson, what have you done, you idiot? You and you alone are going to answer to Global Trust for this disaster. No. He told you it was not ready, and you did not listen. Yeah. And that's the first mission done. And I'm pretty so, sure we have uh, us as eyewitnesses for this. And many yeah. other people as witnesses. And, well, Peterson also has it in writing that he warned him beforehand. So, let's yeah. move on to the second mission. Now you can make yourself useful at last. The company expects you to take care of this matter. Disaster alarm is now imposed on site 13. <laughs> The optimized turbines that were built into the hydroelectric plant without prior testing have developed a malfunction which has damaged the dam. I think that counts as more than damaged. <laughs> a vast volume of water is now pouring through Thor's strange burst city, and as if that weren't bad enough, CEO Rufus Thorne has announced that he will be coming to review progress in your two-year plan. Yeah. Yeah, I think his the whole two-year plan was a mistake. That was a bit laggy. Yo, that can't... The dam! The water is engulfing the whole plant! The two-year plan! I'm finished! I'd be more worried about all the workers, jackass. What's happening, Strindler? You said you had the situation under control. Come on, we can't just stand around. Do something! I do like these arcs. They're basically like giant command subs. I can explain, yeah. Mr. Thorne. It all... It's not my fault, but it goes without saying that I'll sort everything out. It is your fault. Yeah, for one, he refused to do the tests, and for second, he hadn't been repairing the damn thing. Well, he hadn't been repairing the damn dam, to put it another way. Plant 13 must be evacuated as quickly as possible. Follow the Global Trust emergency protocol. Your assignment? Let's evacuate Site 13 and save as many workers and goods Thorne. as possible. We must quickly bring all the survivors to safety. So you recovered three castaways from the marked positions. Which should be where? Ah, there. Okay, now tip games like this typically have... You can put waypoints that okay, yeah. First, that one, then that one, and then that one. That's using shifts. And though this game may be a bit older, the graphics are still pretty nice, I'd say. Yeah, then again, they probably made it, so it should be a bit easier to make it nice and all that from a distance, as you do need to be well, two face into it. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Last point over here. And yeah, our city stayed as it was over here. Typically, one city center won't really do. At the moment, we only have so little space, but in other type maps and missions, uh, yeah, you'll need a lot more. You'll have to build outposts in other think places that will as well. Me, am I right? <laughs> Activating emergency protocol Delta. Analysis of the situation completed. I recommend we set up a refugee camp. Okay. Let's see. We need more worker barracks. So let's get started on that. 
we should still have we should have a good amount of yep we have a good amount of materials at the moment so we can immediately get to making those houses wait we don't have a refuge you don't make refugee my english today <laughs> Yeah, we're just outright giving them housing. <laughs> Though this is rather cheapish. These can get upgraded, as you see here, I believe. Uh, but you can't do that on your own. It's that depends on the workers. Uh, actually, no, that is a standard one as well. Just a different design. Uh, if you manage to fulfill these needs, these uh, housings will upgrade themselves to well, higher levels, which will have well more and more diverse needs, but they will also pay more. Uh, let's see. More yet more housing is needed. We'll probably have to make more food production as well. But for now, let's just make more of a grid. And put All down some more achieved. Congratulations. Okay, can we put down some more fish? Yes. The Global Trust arcs are equipped for all possible purposes. I have sandbags on board. Ensure you have supplies in the goods depots. Okay. Pick up the following for this arc. Okay, send the ship over. Then over here. Now, there are multiple factions in this game, as is always with these kinds of things. And they all, I think they're, the, 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 yeah. I this think the designs of their arcs are similar, but still Do different. Disappoint me. Okay, he's handing over, handing I over the sandbags. I was just about to suggest the same thing. Here are the coordinates of the most important goods depots. Okay. Now we need to get in here and start sandbagging up the place. See it, it's been added. Well, the sandbags have been added as a usable item. So, how do we do that again? Can we just send it into rep. Okay, we just need to get close enough and activate it. Okay, and yeah, it says enough about how much this area has been damaged if a full blown ship can just sail through. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. You had a two-year plan, but three days, like maybe, like, like you, you just make things worse yeah, if you're gonna but... rush everything. I've secured some of the goods in the warehouse, but water is getting in there too. We must take them to your island. Okay, get more stuff from there. In the meantime, make more fish, or get more fish. There. That'll keep everyone fed. Might as well tag this one as Team 1, since we'll probably be using it a lot. Uh, but yeah, this isn't a bad game. But it's probably not the best for stream, now or at least not for it. Useful at last. Shut up, you. And time to plug in the cable to make sure the headphones charge. Okay. Meanwhile, over here. We can build a, a bit into the outer area, but most of the blocks that they, that somehow that housing and such uh, occupies does need to be lit up. Okay, bring the crew over. That was also the only sensible thing you could do. Your evacuation procedures are taking effect. Excellent. By the way, Engineer Peterson has reported back. He is carrying out damage limitation of the dam. Help him. There you go. Okay. Calculating there you go, now I can hear again. For plant 13. Accommodation of Tycoon employees recommended. Upgrading of the infrastructure required. Uh, yeah, they now want. <laughs> we need higher level workers, so we need to build higher level uh, 
<coughs> facilities, among which, well, a distillery. <laughs> Let's see. Cultivates two rice paddies. Produces liquor, satisfies the need for drinks. Uh, let's see. We need to be able to connect this. Uh, we, we can also build in the area of our harbor, so let's just put it in the Attention. corner here. Goods production halted. Cause no farm fields. It does still need to be connected. So now that that's up, we can build the patio. So we can. Okay, that's manual placement. So we just that and Good that. Good production not possible. Island does not have the required fertility. I'm sorry. And yeah, that's also a point. Different areas can have different volatiles like that. Goods on site. Okay, yeah, he has some rice seeds though, so he's actually delivering those at the moment. Okay. Yeah, you actually need seeds to be able to plant stuff Can I inform on the, the board of directors that you were successful? You know what is expected. Okay, left click the, to activate the seeds in your warehouse to create fertility for rice. So we go to items, we activate it, new fertility. and there we go. Now we can plant rice here. Congratulations on having so much foresight. And now these should Analyzing start production. Needs of tycoon employees. Public building of the casino type favored. Construction recommended. And yeah. Next up is the casino. Registering we'll demographic right there. changes within the population. And well, you probably Eight. could have seen this one pop up immediately. I, I feel sorry for whoever lives near to the casino. Creation of yeah. new production areas recommended. Detailed information. No more bets, please. This one went to a, an employee house from a worker barracks. It does need more drink and food to upgrade again though and along with lifestyle and information upgrades but we I don't think we'll get to that for now we need let's see expands the construction site or area available for production plants sends out transports to pick up merchandise yeah we actually have <laughs> uh, these are useful for outposts as well I believe and well for transporting goods around so let's connect that up to here. And that should start sending out stuff. Or am I misremembering as well? Either way though, we hit the 25 minute mark. So yeah, it's not a bad game, as I said, but it's not much uh, one for uh, me that I just get frustrated with uh, constantly changing and increasing uh, demands and requirements from the workers and such. Yeah, like I know some games similar to this, but this one seems to be lay adding just way too many extra layers Which for me for to some enjoy. Is what they want, but yeah, not really for me. No, for me. So that is the first one done. So we're moving on to the second game. Yep, and I just noticed I have a red box around me now instead. Yeah, that, that's because your avatar is selected. Let me correct that there. There we go. Much better. Now I'm free. Okay, first off, this game just refuses to stay in windowed modes. Okay. Controls. This is Archipelago, which I'm pretty sure I've played before. I believe it's a pretty short game. Let's see, WSD, jump and enter for dash. That's a bit of an odd selection for that. But. Yeah, let's start the timer and get going. Hmm. What the? Okay. So everything went to hell here after some jackasses decided to vandalize a Buddha statue. Uh, let me pick up. Okay, yeah, it does pick up the controller immediately. Okay. 
Okay, we can directionally dash with X, jump with A. Yeah, this looks very nice. I, I believe this is a pretty short game. I might have finished it before. Mm, is there a little story in it? Not much to my re recollection. Yep. That was dumb. Hmm. I guess I... checkpoint, not a heal. If I had a bit more store dialogue as such, I would say it would be a good stream game, but... Mm. but show, showing can be a good way to tell a story sometime, but maybe not necessary on streams, always. Yeah. At least, it's, it's, it's not impossible that our games have done that and just been successful, but... Not always. Okay, I should put the blinds of that window down again because every time a car drives past, the sunlight gets reflected in my eyes. Oh, that is uh, kind of painful. And that's not too bad, but yeah. With these green orbs, we can slingshot through them, but with the purple ones, they will vanish after we do that. So we will have to keep that in mind. Be careful. And we can also attack by dashing. What the heck are you attacking? Some sort of frogs <laughs> or something. Come on. There we go. And hello. You were, you were a bit bigger, but you <laughs> went down just as easily. Uh, one, two, three. And there we go. Probably no need to kill all of them. It, the frog sounds almost like pigs. Okay. There we go again. Oop. Hello. One, two... Yep, I completely missed where we were there. Okay. It is easy to restart, though. Since, well, this isn't the most complicated game out there. And I think we were supposed to use the wizard to get up, to get up there, yeah. It's not a, a single path to take. So in a way, this is a bit like Sonic, you could say, without with well, less speed. Since even with in Sonic, if you fall down one path, there's typically another one down below that will take well, will take longer to get through, but will still get you to your well, to the end of the stage at least. Okay, that's got a good design. And I think we're back on a higher path now. Why wasn't... Okay, why weren't they dashing there? Just pressing the button. going on now. Do you have a cooldown or something? I don't think so. And there's another one of these stones, whatever they are. Okay. And moving on. Uh, yeah, not... Oh.
a bit of a harsh tone. Restoration complete. You, you already finished the game? I... Yeah. <laughs> what? You were not kidding, hey? It was short, but... Uh... That was like two, three minutes. <laughs> Actually, seven, since uh... the timer is on 18 now. <laughs> but... Uh, how did you even pay for this game? Uh, I' not sure. And if I did, it was probably like one or two bucks or something. Let me actually go look it up on Steam at the moment if it is on there. Otherwise, it's on yeah Archipelago here store page. Let's see. Da -da -da. Oh, it's it's free actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. that would explain it. That would explain a lot for. Yeah, they, it, a game that short has to be cheap or free. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it was just some someone's little art project or something because the art was uh, nice, even though I had a very really tiny window of seeing it in there. <laughs> yeah, and um, it could also be one of those that I made that game first at a testing ground and practice for a more bigger main project. Yeah. Like uh, they did with, uh, what's it called again? The one they did b before they made the 3D Rayman? Uh, Tonic Trouble. Yeah, all right, thank you. Might, this might be in this guy's Tonic Trouble before they're going big with another game. Maybe. So let's move on to the third game. Yep, sometimes we're just going to find really short games, which is why I have backups installed. And well, our third game for today is Armello. The kingdom of Armillo is one of magic and wonder, yet a dark shadow creeps across this land. One, uh, our once mighty king has been touched by the malevolence of the rot, his tyranny and madness now threatening the realm he once united. Hero, by whatever means necessary, you must become king or queen of Armello. Do beware, the game of Armello is one of chance and treachery. No game shall be the same, and often fate and your opponents will be cruel to you, but remember. remember it is a daring hero who snatches victory from the jaws of defeat. And yeah, let's go back to the mouse for this. Oh dear. I, oh yeah, have you seen uh, Stumps play this? I know some YouTubers have played it. Uh, Kikoskia, I th was it Kikoskia? I guess I think it was Kikoskia who played through this with every single character. Though, yeah, this isn't much of a story game since it's basically a digital version of a board game, I believe. Or... I, I, I don't remember which, if there was a board game first. There might have been a board game made after. For now, start the timer. Moonshine upon you, Thane. The, elder, the, the elders grow restless. A dark scent taints the air. We suspect dark forces at work. We suspect the rot. A wolf clan knight awaits you by the gates of Southbank. He has reported evidence of rat clan activity. Perhaps they are behind the taint. We have sent a guide to lead you to the settlement. Though we talk to fellow, he's a seasoned explorer and will serve you well. May your blade strike true. Snowstrider, Greymane, Denmother. And uh, yeah, this is the tutorial of the game since I... I don't remember ever playing this game in full. <laughs> hi Thane, hi. Did the Denmother tell you about me? Did she? I know she did. I see your letter. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> Oh dear. And yeah, this is basically a turn-based board yeah, game. Your first quest is at Southbank. Journey there by traveling from town to town. Southbank is to the northwest. It's a lovely trip. This is gonna be great. <laughs> These are action points, AP. You have three per turn. Use them to move between towns. Jay uh, I'm, I'm only one seeing the pun here. Uh, which one? Him. The the mouse or thing. Uh, he's a shipper chipmunk. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, look at those mountains. I mean, I've seen bigger, but wow, they take eight, they'll take ages to cross. By that they mean, they're rough terrain, so you need to, you know, you need to spend more to get across, but it also gives you a defensive bonus, because of course there's combat in this game. Can we rest? My feet hurt. And, yeah, this is the end of your turn button. You can end your turn at any time, and then it goes from day to night. This is your body. It prevent it represents your maximum health. If you lose, is it putting on my helmet? No, someone just called out. No, no, no! It looked like the arrow in the game pointed at my helmet. <laughs> if you lose all your health, you will die and be returned to your clan grounds. Okay, we can continue moving. Forest provides stealth at night. Stealth heroes cannot be seen. They can also not be seen moving around on the boards. So if you want to be sneaky, head for the forests. Walking onto a settlement brings it under your control. Each settlement you control provides plus one gold income at dawn. A rope figure bursts from South Bank's gates. They hold a bloody knife. The squire is in pursuit. Fain, stop him, she cries. Congratulations, you've reached your first quest. In quests, you choose between a dangerous option for a bonus reward or playing it safe. Okay. This is the safe option, no test required. And the dangerous option, which has a percentage to fail. A percentage to succeed, of course. Test your body stat, since that's the only one we have. You will gain plus one body from completing this body test a quest. Completing quests also rewards heroes with one, plus one prestige as their fame spreads across the kingdom. The chance to succeed is based on the stat being tested, plus 10% based for each stat point. As you can see, the dangerous test you will gain the bonus reward. So we will either gain a squire from this, or we will suffer two damage. And yeah, let's take it. And because of the tutorial, it's... This is your chance of rewards. It's a spin of the wheel. And your chance of failure. Oh dear. Click one of the quest tokens to find out with, uh, whatever you, well, whether you've succeeded. I'm pretty sure since the tutorial, you're set to you know, succeed all the time anyways. You step up, uh, success. Your bonus reward is a follower. You will also receive plus one body, so now we have should have six once this is done, and plus one prestige. You step before the figure and block like their clumsy strike. You grab their pack before they flee. A journal of scribbled notes tumbles out. Yep. Now we have six of six health. If only you'd got here sooner. Th yeah, that beast attacked me while we waited for you. He killed my master. Misery, tragedy, whoa, how can I go on? Oh well. Looking for a squire? <laughs> this guy could come in handy, Fane. And yeah, that's how we get another follower. Hey, oh dear. Uh, be right back. You're just gonna fool, fool with me to the machine. Okay, I'll just keep explaining the game as it goes. Drag the squire into a party slot to recruit him. Let's see. The next time you are killed in battle, the squire dies instead. So, <laughs> a meat shield. <laughs> I have a new master. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Which, well, if it's if it's his job to take a hit <laughs> for their master, then they quite fail at their job this time. So let's hope they don't the next time. Right after a nap, I need sleep. <laughs> and my feet still hurt. Okay, and turn. Okay, turns the mellowed cycle bit from day to night. And now we get access to gold. It is used to play item and trickery cards. You earn gold income from your clan and settlements every dawn. Okay. The denizens of Armello will provide you with rumors. Often you will be able to choose between several of them. 
This rumor will lead to a quest with the treasure, Poppet, as the reward. And now we get the fight stats. This is your fight. It represents your prowess in battle. This quest will test your fight. This, well, it has the, the fight symbol on it. Let's see. You scan the journal recovered from the roped figure. His notes reveal he has set up camp to the north of here. Darkness abounds. If we succeed here, we get plus one fight and plus one prestige. And if we win, we get a poppet, which is an equipable item. After surviving a battle, your opponent suffers minus two health. And I'm back. Welcome back. Sir, I've gathered up some of my master's supplies. I'm sure he'd want you, know, you to have them. For a price. We should equip that sword and shield. They're sure to come in handy before we're done. You yep. can also equip items and recruit followers by dragging them from your hand. The inventory shelf will open automatically. That way. That she looks well used. Yeah. And shining steel sword in battle plus one sword. And the shield gives one shield. We'll get to that in a bit, probably. Perfect, let's go. We're crossing a swamp today. Tough walk. We might pick up a scratch or two. Yeah. Swamps deal one damage upon entering. So let's get out to this circle. Stone circles are ancient sites, imbued with wild, uh, wild power. They restore plus one health to those that enter. Yeah. Remember, this is the safer option in the quest. Complete the terrible will still increase. It will still give the. Uh, it will still give the stat bonuses, but it won't give a. a it won't give a reward. Yes. Again, fifty percent chance. Okay, the circle is cluttered with symbols of dark power. In the center, frankly packing up, is the rope figure. He spots you, then sprints through the trees at the circle's edge. And we can give chase, and let's see if we get it again. Oh, and it's a fail this time. You go down onto all fours, racing across the circle. At the last moment, the figure spins and slashes you across the face. You howl and he escapes. Yeah, risk and reward. Well, he got away. Now you've got a score. <laughs> yeah. He got away, and he took the puppet with him. I'll be honest, I'm glad we didn't find it. I don't have anything to do with the rot. Let's set up camp. We can start trying to track him down tomorrow. Okay, and turn. And so we get back tonight. I wouldn't surprise if you were meant to fail that one. But what the? Thane of the Wolf Clan, hand over the puppet or be slain by order of the king. We don't have the damn puppet. This is crazy, we don't even have the puppet. Why are the king's guard attacking? We've done nothing wrong. This is madness. Yep, that's because, well, the king has gone mad. And, well, the, thing, the king's guard followed their command no matter what. Remember fight? Each point in it grants a die in battle. We have six, so we get six dice. Dice and Armello have six unique symbols. Sword counts as one attack. A shield counts as one defense. Sun counts as attacks during the day and misses at night. And moons are the opposite. Misses during the day and attacks at night. Okay. This game has had quite some upgrade dates since it originally released. So I, I think... I'm not sure if these were in originally. Well... Wields uh, count as an attack, then explode, granting a bonus die as roll, a bonus dice roll. Finally, a wrath counts as a miss. These are your opponent's stats, they work the same as yours. He has four fight and five health. So he gets four dice. At the start of a battle, both combatants show their relevant items. Followers and abilities while their dice are locked in. The Wolf Clan's affinity with uh, is the Knight. They get plus one dice when facing challenges at night. So that's another dice. The Rusty Shield uh, grants plus one shield, uh, which will protect Thane from one enemy attack. And this sword, one attack. And the King's Guard, though, has the Hare's Hellbirds, which reduce their opponent's battle dice. 
So they gain one, we lose one, and now we just roll. Okay, four attack and two defense. Okay, we got one hit in. And, yep, here we go again. Oh, we're late. sure if these are randomized or not. Okay, we took some hits but dealt some back. And because we lost, we were forced to retreat. This isn't good. You can see we have a bounty now. The King's Guard will hunt us down. We need to figure out a plan fast. We didn't Armello, Darkness stirs, for signs of rot have now returned. A hunted wolf forced to withdraw as rats slink in to find out more. And that is the prologue done. Well, the first bit of the prologue done. Let's see. In Thane's, uh, Thane's story, learn the basics of movement and combat. In Mercurio's story, learn to play cards and navigate the perils of Armello. We still have 12 minutes to go, so let's take a shot at this. Things wanted. And basically we're watching the events take place well, from its third person. Since we aren't actually in control of Thane at the moment. Now we have Mercurio of the Wrath Clan. Hail Mercurio, our ears within the royal palace hear of secret plans. Thane seems to think much of his abilities, so he hunts for tools of the rot. The king has laid a trap for him. A bounty will be placed on his head. A bounty which we expect you to claim. Teach him the consequences of meddling with the rot. Then find those tools for yourself. Nat Fennet, the spy master, awaits you within Southbank. Her skills will be of use to you. Good luck. Keep your blades sharp and your tongue sharper. Remember, destroy this ladder. Festium. Oh, we are the bad guy. Yeah, the rats are underhanded, but in general, there is no real good or bad with the clans. The only true evil in Armello is the rats. Let's go. Time is money, Mercurio. Remember to equip, no, remember to equip useful items. They will help you on your journey. Okay, an adventurous kit. For one gold, we get plus one die in perils. And of course, we're going to get in there. We're going to get info on perils in a bit. Disguise is a trickery, yeah, trickery trap. Uh, yeah, trickery card, not trickery trap. These cards contain political plays, agents, traps, and ruses, and more. For three gold, we grant stealth until the ne end of next turn. Okay, we gain stealth. Okay. You're at Festian, let's go find that spy master. This is your wits. It determines how many cards you can hold in your hand. This is a wits quest because the symbol matches. So we take this quest. And now we head for the same place. As Thane was before. Hit one, two. Three, avoiding the swamp and the mountains. Wait, I don't want to stop and rest without knowing where Thane is lurking. Here, use this gold to hire rangers. Cut around Duncastle. That's where he was last seen. Okay. Play rangers on Duncastle to scout it. Grant scout from Tal until ne end of next turn. Basically, we gain visibility. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Okay, there. Thane's hiding in the woods. Don't worry, come sunrise, the guard, uh, king's guard will find him. The eagle flag indicates scouted towels. Scouting reveals stealth creatures. Okay. Because we, we would normally still have vision of everyone else moving around, but not in the woods. And, and turn for daytime. 
That's the traitor. They can move two at times. No, they, they have three as well. Okay. The settlement of South Bank is in lockdown by order of the king. We're looking for accomplices. And Thane heads for the mountain. Thane has played a trickery card to the settlement as a peril. Peril is a trap. A peril is a trap. Enter the tile and you face its challenge. Fail and you'll trigger the card's effect. Peril and Spruceville. What is Thane up to? Okay. No matter. Forget the peril. Thane is exposed. Let's claim that bounty. Okay, this is your prestige. It reclaims your. It reflects your renown in the realm. We'll gain prestige in the kingdom by claiming the bounty on Thane's head. I know if we'll, no, yeah, I know a few perks who will be happy to do a dirty work. Killing another hero awards you plus one prestige. Claiming bounties awards you with bonus prestige and gold, based on how wanted they are. You can play cards on other creatures, just like you play disguise. Uh, you play the disguise on yourself. Okay. It costs two gold, and um, let's see. If target cannot. Okay, they will either take two gold, or they will deal one damage and remove one action point. And since he's already wounded... There we go. Done, that's gold in our pockets and prestige in your name. The reason you want to have prestige is because it's one of the ways to win the game. Now, let's deal with the Spymaster. We'll need to lift the lockdown. Don't attack the King's Guard, we'll end up with a bounty too. Yeah, if, if you attack them or get attacked by them, you get a bounty. Instead, let's organize some false orders. That bounty got you some gold, which uh, will let us contact some serious in the world figures. Of course, King's uh, Guard of Tile for one gold. So, there we go. The city is bustling. You enter the tavern and glance around. There are many phases, but none you've seen before. No spy master. Whistle a clan rat tune. That's the only option we have. And we got it. Again, I can't tell if these are locked in beforehand or not. You pick an obscure song, one you'd only know if you were listening for it. It takes on just a few notes before the spy master sits next to you. Information comes at the cost, Mercurio. Recruit the Spy Master, she will give you the ability to see other heroes' quest locations. It's gonna be very nice if you want to intercept them. Uh, Thane's heading to the mountains. <laughs> this could complicate things. Give me some time to speak to my contacts. Rest a while. By that they mean, and turn. Okay. And turn. I'm split if this would be good to stream or not. Uh, it, not for story at least, but it could be something to stream with other people. Just to uh, have a bit of a competition, see who can win the game. Yeah, depending how long it takes though. Uh, games shouldn't take too long because typically there is a time limit as well. Because well, ah. the king's mad. One of the ways to game, one of the games, one of the ways to win the game is to kill the king. But each, every morning he will take damage, making it well easier to kill him. But if he dies without being killed by anyone, the the, the, the player with the most prestige will win instead. Okay. Flames back at his clan grounds. You know, he is still heading towards the Winterhorn Mountains. When a hero dies, their turn ends. They lose one prestige and return to their clan grounds. Can I check on my food? Okay. I'm inclined to interfere with his plans, but we can't affect him while he's moving. That's no problem. We simply act uh, where we know he'll be. Our SM mercenaries to lie in wait in Fleet uh, for the hills. That'll cut him off from the mountains. Okay. We will play this as a peril. If he loses it, he, ta he loses an action point and two health. And he goes for it, and he fails. 
Well done, that slowed him down. And now he should only have one AP, which means that he can't go into the mountains because he needs two. I've heard whispers. I know where we must go. The spy master has tracked the stolen rod tool to the Winterhorn Mountains. One of our sources in the city knows the peaks and uh, knows those peaks well. And this is going to be a body challenge. And it's a town that was put in their, on their peril before. This is a strategist card. Use it to help us get to Spruce Vale faster. Which for one no, for three gold gives us one AP. An instant trickery card. This is the card's effects. Costs three gold to play. This is the cards are mellow symbol. What does that mean? Let's just give you a bit more gold so you can play strategist. Okay. Use it on ourselves to gain some speed. You can now reach Spruceville without needing to rest or uh, stop and rest. Okay. One, two, three. Remember, we'll have to face Thane's peril when we enter Spruce Build, but there's no other option. And there we go. Okay. The Rat Clan's ability is the Knight. They get plus one dice when facing challenges at night. The Adventurer's Kit provides one bonus die in perils. And dice roll. Let's see. If we fail this, we will lose one equipped item. I believe we need to cover each of these symbols. Yep. So we needed, uh, we needed a shield, but we failed. So we lose the adventurous kit. Okay. So install your adventurous kit. I had my lunch in there. <laughs> Claiming more than one settlement further increases your gold income and provides a gold discount to trickery cards. Okay. Chasing the shadows. The city near curfew is in effect at nightfall. The contact's house is across the street, but a king's guard is patrolling in front of it. Okay. There you go. I'm back. Welcome back. We can try to take the risky option to get a miner, which would give us one gold and one shield in mountains. Let's give it a shot. It is 50 50. And we got it. A shadow in the moonlight. He doesn't see you sneak by close enough to touch. The contact, a miner, smiles and lets you in. We have information. Now we plan our next move. Right. And turn. And the timer is about to go off, but we can at least finish Mercurio's part here. And that's the king. <laughs> and there goes Thane again. <laughs> By the wild, that was a lightning strike spell. Why would the king attack the prince of the wolf clan? Quick, we need to report back. With the king acting so strange, we must thread very carefully. And, well, <laughs> that's the end of Mercurio's bit. Confusion reigns throughout the land. Heroes flee to stop and plan. But to the east on the bright sun, something, something else. <laughs> uh, uh, arrive at the hair's quest has begun. Uh, yeah, there. I think. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's the timer. There are four clans, tip, and we have the wolves, we have the rats, we have the hares, and then there are also the, is there's also the bear clan. And the there's clan also a dragon clan, but I think there's a DC. Probably, yeah. Okay, for now though, we can end the game there. Uh. Again, not a bad game, but not our, really our stick for streaming. Maybe uh, for collabs or something between uh, to just have a bit of a competition to see who can get the win. But yeah, not really for our main streams at least. So let's move on to the fourth game. And because Arc Apelago was so short, we'll do the one of the <clears throat> we'll do one of the buffer or backup uh, games as well. Now, is this going to catch? It's it should have, it would have, it caught earlier during testing, but during backup testing, it didn't. I, I do have to say about Arc Acabella thing. Like, we had short games before, but we never had a game so short to be finished it on the seven minutes. Yeah. 
back. Is it going to freaking catch or not? It it, it worked Let's earlier. Beings of light and take mm. note of what I have to say. This Akba, the god of Yeah, it looks like it's not really going to work. Which is a bummer. Uh yeah, the game that we would have done here is Arc Fratalis, which I believe was either Arcane Studios' first or second game. And, well, we know them from Dishonored. I think it was second or third, maybe? Sure. Uh, but yeah, that just fell through completely. It worked during testing earlier. It won't work in windowed mode, but we have played games full screen before. But, yeah, just just a bit of a disappointment there. So we're moving on to the next game. Which should capture. And... Then. Uh, what the? Have a line over my head again? Ow! Thank you. Also, let me... Put this to... Do not disturb for a bit. Oh, it's been on. No, that's been on for quite a while, apparently. They should add a possible timer with that at some point. Like, do not disturb for one hour or something. But, oh well. Let's put the chat bar. Oh, yeah. This is The Ascent. This is a game I've finished before. And Beanie has played this. Uh, though I wouldn't really. From what I've seen, I wouldn't really say this would be too good for streaming. Because, for one, it's a bit of a... Uh, but we, uh, let, let's just first start it up. New game. Let's put the save down there and start the timer. This game, like, uh, like with End of 2070, it isn't a bad game. It's not a really great one either. I recycle thousands of hopefuls make Planetfall and Velas. Most pay the hefty price of passage by contracting away their lives to their corporate nations as indentured laborers, called indents. Basically, paid slaves. Yep, slaves in all but name. You are an indent with the Ascent Group, the largest corporation on Velas. Velas, Velas, whatever. Stuck in the deep, dank bowels of their massive arcology, you do the menial jobs you're given. Counting off the cycles to you know, the end of your contract or an early death, whatever comes first. So yeah, very <laughs> cyberpunk. Well, it's welcomed you with a hard kick to the groin, like it does everyone. Which makes you wonder, why the fuck would you even want to go here? But you're not down for the count just yet. And there we go to the character creation. Uh, let's see, is there just a randomized option here somewhere? Uh, I've not seen... Okay, cre ah, there we go. Randomized, let's just hit this a few times, and... Okay. Uh, yes. And, yeah, this is a top-down shooter. Again, rather hey, impressive with the. Oh. I had sewage coming out of my fucking rinser this morning. Epicite showering in manure. I want this fixed. Get it done before end of cycle, and I'll throw in a juicy bonus. 
yeah, a game... Not, a, not really a game for me, really, even though I have played it to its end of its story. And the, the graphics are still rather impressive, though this is a much more recent game, like two years ago or something that it released. I forget. Okay. Maintenance log. Everything is as functional and broken at the same time as always. The soups are doing their jobs, applying scraps or welding, uh, or welding to their little silicon heart's content. And I still don't really get what the walking monos are up to. They'll end the day's work. Signed, Byron. Again. Oh dear. We it looks really down. gritty. You can crouch to go under low areas like that, or mostly take cover behind stuff. You can access consoles to open up doors like that. And let's see. Yeah, we are literally stuck in the damn sewers of this place at the moment. Hello? <laughs> so, they finally sent back up. I guess the problem was to reach the stack tops or boom would have left me here to be scavenged rogues. I'm Trummer. Hope you came armed. SI's locked itself into a recursive void loop. Whatever caused it's beyond that door, together with a whole lot of ferals who came out of nowhere. Took a fat bite out of my thigh. It was all I could do to crawl in here and put the room in lockdown. We'll help out, right? Wait. They didn't tell you I was already down here. Come, a dirty fucking jacklin. Something took a part of his and he has some big yeah. how big is the thing the building yeah they're not too big yeah those fellows mean business almost got me don't go in there unless you're packing yeah something caused the SI to implode there's been some strange power surges down here in the deep stick lately so it might be related but I don't know answers beyond that door in the soups down here, and hungry too. SI's the sentient intelligence operating this here ultra complex machinery. Now, we're talking the most basic forms of sentience. It's not an AGI. Yeah, there's a lot of terms being thrown out here. Well, that's clear now, right? Right. I'm gonna hobble back upstairs, find cheap soup poon, and. Well, do nothing, I guess. I've lived in the lockdown. Okay. Yeah, that, <laughs> that doesn't really do much. Uh, let's see. Up this way it is. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, again, this game isn't bad, but the type of gameplay isn't really much for me. And let's see. We got the shirt skin. <laughs> We are already full of health, and I believe that's also just a health thing. It's access denied. What? Isn't that? Or do we need to go the other way around? That could also be it. We can dodge roll with spacebar. There we go. Yeah, we need to go the long way. Okay. Break these open for some credits. You creds. Yeah. And what have we here? Street headsets. There's equipment. And yeah, this is that uh, SI. And this is <laughs> this big ass thing is just running at the bare minimum of sentience. So that's uh, already a sign of how complex that stuff is just for one simple mind. Uh, let's oh dear. See. Uh, wait, why is it pointing that way now? We have a map, though it cannot. It's sometimes it's not the best. Access. 
Okay. So both parts are blocked, so and what the hell is going on? There shouldn't be anything to activate here. Hmm. And oh, these respawn. Oh, oh we, it's not giving the tutorial pop-ups at the moment. Uh, let's see. Tutorials on. Yep. Yeah. By pressing C, we use well a hacker deck basically to hack any items nearby. Or packable items nearby, at least. And now we get to combat. Shoot and reload. Use left trigger to fire your equipped gun. Reload is automatic upon releasing the trigger when the clip is empty, but can also be executed manually with R. So, basic stuff. And these are the barrels. See, they're pretty big still. Yeah. We can find out info on enemy types, but I forget if we need to find specific things for that or not. Uh, I, I expect them to be bigger if they were able to take a bite of the big boy. Uh, let's see, Codex. Codex, find information on a myriad of things in the world. Locations, characters you meet, alien species, corporations, and general knowledge about the world and technology. Read about the enemies after you defeat them and find game help with a collection of tutorials. Okay, so we need to kill them first before we can get some info on them. And let's see, species. Uh, not them. Ferals. Ferals is the collective turn given to a range of mutated pests living in the deep sublevels of the dusk. Some gather in swarms or hordes, while others stay alone and in, or in smaller packs. Automated vermin control systems prevent them from spreading into the upper levels, uh, aka <laughs> automatic def uh, defense system. Uh, Automa yeah, automated gun placements, you know, probably. Uh, but these systems do not always work as intended. And feral infestations have been known to wipe out entire neighborhoods. Yeah, I what think the heck? I think it's the big one that took a bite of him? Possibly. And let's see. Not them, not them. Larkians, that's the guy, that's the species of the guy that we had earlier, and well, you can take an easy guess as to what they are a lot about just from the animations. Holy. Larkians are, despite their size and appearance, primarily a peaceful race, who are for the most part, who for the most part are content to stay within their home system. But Larkian society can be quite repressive, and in every generation there are those who rebel and refuse to confirm, uh, conform. Before the species advanced into space, these individuals would be cast out into the wilderness to live by themselves, but these days most of them instead leave voluntarily for other parts of the galaxy. Many discover that their size and brutal appearance can become, source, uh, become a source of income, and they often end up in violent lines of work as such as bouncers, corpse sack, bodyguards, syndicate muscle, and the like. They are known for their even tempers and long fuses, but are also for the carnage they cause when they finally explode. A Berserker Larkian is a force to be reckoned with, and some have been known to go on legendary flatlining sprees when their patience finally comes to an end. Larkian society frowns upon augmentation and considers them an impurity, but exiled Larkians rarely have such com uh, compunctions, compunctions, I believe that's said, and while they uh, might go lighter on the number of arcs, it's rare to find someone completely pure. Interesting species that are usually peaceful. Just... Yeah, best they do not try to anger them. Yeah, they basically cling on with patience. <laughs> yeah. Aim high they usually cling on with them. patience are very dangerous. Okay. In you inflict more. Okay. Yep. We can go low. Oh, hello. We can. We can go low ourselves to hide behind stuff, but we can also aim high to try and go for headshots or for shots on higher uh, levels, like this guy here. But with smaller enemies, if they are at an even level, the shots would go over them instead. But that is a bit of a strategic thing to keep in mind. 
here is in this furnace for a bit of is not enough to get armor. Uh, I... I almost shoot those guys in reflex when they show up. But yeah. Uh, non hostiles will just run off if you start shooting. And the game also mentioned stagger earlier. Basically, if we do enough stagger damage, we will stun an enemy. But since these guys are so small and the sh those shots would go over them, we can't really show that at the moment. <clears throat> okay. If I find it, do you want to grab a fruit? Okay, just some health stuff. Some credits. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is one thing I don't really like about this game is that how enemies can just crawl up behind you. Realistic? Yeah. Annoying? Also. Because, yeah, it means that if, no matter how much you clear out an enemy, they might just pop up behind you again. Bite you in the ass whilst you're already fighting something else. And, yeah, sometimes you literally crawl underneath rough <laughs> stuff. I'm back. Welcome back. Just got ambushed by another you know, a few ferals. Here, I look surprised. Okay, now we need to purge the memory banks. Why these parts are not close to each other, don't ask me. Luckily, luckily we have the laser sight to tell where we're shooting and all. And since this game has co-op options, it's also very useful to see where your friends are shooting. Though, if I were to advise playing this game, I would advise playing it with other people. Because maybe it's just me, maybe I was just completely bad with... Well, <laughs> with uh, skilling my uh, character, but a lot of enemies just turn into complete bullet sponges. Yeah. Be cautious around people in dangerous areas. Some people don't attack on sight, uh, sight, not sight, and will let you leave. If you don't, be ready for a fight. Okay, yeah, these won't attack until we get too close or stick around too much. Like that. Okay, we picked up a new weapon. Tap F to pick up weapons and armor to place the inventory. Press and hold to immediately equip. Okay. Let's equip that one. And... Did it equip? No, it did not. There we go. The mouse wheel to swap... Uh, use the mouse wheel to swap between your equipped items. You can change your loadout in the journal. And we can hold two weapons at a time. And, well... This is obviously an SMG, <laughs> so it just mows them down. Holy! Okay, we've been picking up some equipment pieces. Let's actually put some of those on. Uh, equi equip armor at, the, at any time by pressing the uh, selecting pieces for your head, upper body, and lower body. In summary, we'll show you how de uh, defense types compare to what is currently equipped, and if there are any additional attribute or skill boost gains from equipping the armor in question. Yeah, like in any RPG, we can uh, these <coughs> uh, different 
items have different uh, defense stats and sometimes boosts. So let's see. This will give 20 of that defense. I forget what that is. Uh, <laughs> the virtual reality headset gives less damage, but more, but yeah, more different ones. And let's see. Let's put on that one first. We have nothing for that, but we do have some pants that we already have equipped. Uh, let's see. Okay, what we have equipped is on the left. What we would pick is on the right. And yeah, defense types can help out quite a while, have quite a bit, of course, depending on what enemies you're facing. So I'm not too sure if it's ever too clear where. It what enemy? Yeah, what enemies use what uh, weapon damage types? Unless it's like obviously flame or electric. And uh, that was that was pretty uh, nice. <laughs> Again, the graphics of this are pretty impressive. Oh yeah. And moving on further. You might have been able to spot uh, little bars, uh, little yellow bars underneath the health. Uh, that is the stagger damage. But again, these small fries are too small to use that on at the moment. To really get much out of that, because they die before they can kill off the bar. Okay, level up, complete Yay. missions, uh, collect bounties and defeat enemies to gain XP. When leveling up, you grow stronger, more damage, and are rewarded with new skill points. Skill points that... Let's see. Where is that skills? We can put into, well, one of these. Let's see. We have tactical sense. Determines the amount of tactical charge gained from damage inflicted. Associated with cybernetics attributes. Few things are as energizing as death and destruction. There's no stim that can <laughs> emulate the high of lethal combat. And we have critical hit rate, so also associated with you know, cybernetics. Both are green, and here we have cybernetics in green, so that's, that's easy to keep track of what affects what. Uh, weapon handling determines reload and weapon swap speed, affected by uh, associated with motor attributes. Going from pistol to rifle to minigun and then back, faster and faster, again and again, <laughs> will you ever decide. And I forgot to read this one out. Some have that flatliner instinct and are just uh, better at hitting enemy weak spots. Uh, whether it's pure luck or your soci sociopathic learnings, that uh, does it. Oh dear. Hmm, components. Oh dear. I'm not sure if I saw that before when I last played this. Yep. No, that's going to need to do that. Uh, yeah, that is a bit of an annoying... You, I'm not sure if there's a real way to undo... Uh, putting point and stuff uh, probably is at the actually I think there is a way but it's an expensive way uh, let's see determines weapon spread recovery rate uh, associated with motorex steady hands, deep breathing and an uncluttered mind can all combine to affect your weapon control and then we have balance determines resistance to stuns, uh, knockbacks and staggerings and the movement penalty for moving while firing heavy weapons, associated with frame attribute. Steady as a construction mech, calm as a senior Horthian, nothing ruffles your feather. <clears throat> and evasion, determines evasion cooldown speed. The best way to avoid getting killed is to not get hit. Who needs body armor when you can dive about like a malfunctioning mono? And last, we have vital, si let the vital signs, determines max health, associated with biometrics. Don't do stims, eat your greens, and avoid violent confrontations, and you'll live longer. You shall also be bored of your skull. And <laughs> the body battery determines max energy capacity. All that fancy chrome doesn't run on just happy thoughts and recycled air. You'll need to stay energized if you hope to stay functional. Now, there are probably specific builds to get through this game with this. Uh, but, yeah, just basic health and, uh, and weapon handling, maybe crit rates... 
Uh, tactical sense is for abilities that we can unlock later. But I actually had never made much use of that, I believe. And yeah, loadout. Where we can swap between our, our weapons and our tactical ability. But we have no tactical ability. Yeah, there's been some kind of game that wants to encourage you to be tactical. But if you try to be very tactical, it kind of punishes you for it. And rewards you for just being... Just brooding way through it. I kind of find it annoying at times. Yeah. Like, if you want to encourage being tactical, maybe balance the game to work well for it instead of punish you for being tactical. Like, th 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 there's a time to open the door and a time to tackle down the door. It shouldn't be the answer to always being tackle always the door or something like that. Okay. Uh, anything new to say, you? Fix the problem. Good. Now, just reboot the damn thing and let's call it a day. The SI interface terminals past that hollow door across the room. I've recovered enough to hobble out of you. Thanks, mate. Let's have a drink when you get back upstairs. I'll be at the punk blood. Okay. An accent. Uh, I recognize that accent he was using. Yeah, for some reason, most Larkians sound British. <laughs> More of... Wait, was the Cockney? Yep. <laughs> Alright. And yeah, they're using they're using uh, an AI just for the freaking sewer systems of this entire place. Well, it's probably a massive place, to, so they probably need it. But still, but one yeah. would expect it to be better kept with actual good amount of workers keeping it under good condition. Now this, yeah. That's what would you say as an inspector? Uh, I'd shut the entire place down, but the inspectors for this place are probably paid off because, well, it's cyberpunk. Of course, everything is shit. And I see that the disguise is having issues again with slow. Oh, well. Let's see. Fuck me, you were right. I shouldn't have fallen for it. A new life. Get a job with the Ascent Group, the trip uh, to Velas, and everything set up. All I have to do is work off the death as an indent. I got here, I got a job, and I guess you could call what I have a home. But it's nothing like that. I live in a dump run by a maniac, and I... <laughs> robot <laughs> getting pissed with the snack machine. I live in a dump run by a maniac, and I work at a place worse than that. I'm gonna take uh, more than the rest of my life to pay it off. Uh, the silver lining is that everyone here is in it together, and in some fucked up way, we're making it work. I found some good people, better than the folks at home. Let's talk uh, soon on Holo, okay? Okay, yeah, of course the, <laughs> the brochure is completely inaccurate to what ac is actually uh, going on. Oh dear. But we have again reached the timer. So yeah. let's hide down with this one. Uh, maybe with some other people I'd consider streaming this game some. I know I joined Beanie on one or two streams of this. But solo for its story, I'd say no. Yeah, like, it looked good, but... I don't know. Apparently it was missing something. Yeah. That is something that I felt through it as well, and... 
Since we still have a decent amount of time, let's move on to the other backup game that I installed, because I knew Armello at least was going to take, uh, well, was likely to take, take a short time, but uh, instead it was Archipelago that <laughs> that happened with. So, yeah, Ubisoft. Climax Studios. And this should tell everyone already what kind of world franchise this game is in. Oh no. But it's not the one you probably expected. Or, well, I've already told Run! you before, but uh, anyone else maybe. <laughs> this Run! is Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. This is a spin off of the game, uh, of the normal games. So. Let's start up a new game. Your progress will be lost if you start a new game. Yes. And let's start it on normal. China 1526. It's been two years since uh, Zhang Yong, the leader of the, a corrupt group, the eunuchs, known as the Tigers, wiped out the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins. These Tigers are Templars and secretly run China from the shadows using the Emperor as nothing but a puppet. Xiao Yun, one of these few survivors, has returned under the orders of Wang Yangming, the new leader of assassins. Together, they plan to hunt down the tigers and free China from its Templar control. They return to their old home, the Majishan Grottoes. Once an assassin stronghold, now it is a Templar prison, run by Gao Feng. To get close to their target, Xiao Yun allows herself to be captured. She carries a precursor artifact given to her by Ezio Aritori, knowing that the Templars will want answers about the artifact and ensuring her imprisonment. Hey? The box is empty. Or should I say, incomplete. Where is the rest of it? We know who you are. We know who you were. You've come far for someone who was merely once a concubine. I will ask you again, assassin. What is this box? Where did it come from and what is its purpose? Why continue to resist us? Look around you. No one is coming. We wiped out your order. There is no escape from here. Why would I want to escape? I am exactly where I want to be. Such arrogance! Ma Yong Chen will make you talk. Let me try. No wonder your kind fell so far. My kind isn't done yet. The Escape. 1526. Those grottoes. After allowing herself to be captured in order to get close to one of Zhang Yong's tigers, Gao Feng, Xiao uh, Yun must now escape her cage and recover her equipment. Once she has her weapons and tools, the hunt for, Ga uh, the hunt for Gao Feng begins. Also, let me take a moment to move this up a bit. So I don't have to look down as much. Okay, upgrades, increase health for... 500 of, if we get 550 points. Secondary objective, rescue the assassin informant Hong Li Wei. I, I think I'm doing most of these pronunciations Time correct, but I'm probably, well, plenty wrong as well. Okay. And yeah, this entire series of three games are 2D uh, puzzle platformers. Okay. Okay, that's I can see us stream these over there, the regular ones. Not true. I, I I want to stream some of the uh, mainline games at some point, but we can definitely start with these since they'll be a lot easier as well. Yeah, and the other ones are very long. Yeah. And yeah, the game. Uh, look at the left guy and this little uh, castle thing. It was doing circles around his helmet. 
Uh, oh yes, it's still doing it. <laughs> yeah, these these games are a bit low budget compared to the to the mainline games, but they are still plenty good, I'd say. Or at least their story is uh, is pretty interesting. Yeah, I usually find the Assassin's Creed story more interesting than the gameplay. Yeah, oh. Oh. yeah. yeah. They can look down places, so you have to keep that in mind. Wait. There we go. Uh, but yeah, one of the things that I have with the Assassin's Creed, or at least some of them, is that I get lost into what the hell is, uh, what the hell is going on with these, uh, the contact stuff, because the time jumps, just get me really confused at times. Yeah, I agree with that it's probably one of the few things that makes me not eager to uh, for to stream Assassin's Creed. Well, the time jumps, the long. How long it takes to play? Like, I don't like there's multiple endings. In this case, those things could just end up accidentally just dragging on, without knowing which ending you're going for. I'm not too sure about multiple endings. I, in the mythic arc, there might probably be. I, I've only really, hmm. but in the main games, or at least the ones I'm thinking about possibly streaming. I don't think there's really anything with multiple endings. And the one the um, I'm talking about is the original and the Ezio trilogy. All right. Well, I know the Odyssey had, what was it, 10 endings or something? Okay, yeah, the, the Mythic Arc games. The, the, those are a lot more RPG, so it would make sense that they'd also have more endings. Yeah, let's see. The way you play through a section of the level is assessed and rewarded depending on your playstyle. Not being seen by guards will score higher than fighting your way through a section. That's well, you're an assassin, not uh, a barbarian. So no one has stayed up sight to achieve a shadow gold style uh, award. Whatever the last word was there. Don't remain very close to guards for long. They will become aware of you and turn around. So, just hide in the in the shadows, an icon, okay, when they are about to look back. Okay. Of course, running will make noise, so don't run when you are close to enemies. have an awareness cone, yeah, stay out of it. We already told an example of that. So basically, these games, use your whistle to distract him and avoid being seen. Okay, hold F to show the whistle area. We can adjust it. And then G to whistle. There we go. Yeah, yeah, in a way, oh. assassinate. And yeah, she has her blades in her oh. boots. Ow! Uh, oh, there, crossbows. Yeah, crossbows are a pretty big deal, especially when you're only wearing cloth. They just you know, eat that motherfucker off into the dark. Yeah, don't they are damn small. Wait, are they on with shoe canoe? Uh, re repeat the course, bow. The boy uh, could be. I uh, oh, there we go. We can slide. Uh, oh dear. Good to have you back, my friend. Uh, the thing about shoe canoe is. They don't have long range, they're not, not a very powerful punch. So apparently it was common for them to be, well, poisoned, tipped. Okay, and of course it wouldn't be an Assassin's Creed game without ledge assassinations. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm pressing W, what do you want else from me? 
Or do you... There we go. Uh, but yeah, in a way you could describe this game and its two sequels as uh, basically Assassin's Creed Go. When the Go games were a... <clears throat> uh, yeah, were some games on mobile, which basically were... Yeah, they were a lot simpler. Uh, puzzle, not really platformers, but more like... Uh, how would I even describe them? Well, platformers could maybe count as well still, but... Basically, you move the character from node to node and have to solve puzzles and get to uh, an exit. And it helped. Eagle vision and view enemy behaviors. I got worried when you said go over. No, go was like that. The first thing I got so the thing was what Pokemon Go thought. Wait, what? Or was it? Do you go? Go? Yeah, I don't think you mean Go for every, every game of me here that has a the name Go is like Pokemon, uh, Pop Go and Pokemon Go, where you basically wander around the, the, the and real life town just to find the things. It is a very stupid idea. Uh, not too stupid. It did catch on, and Pokemon Go is still going. Uh... Uh, yes, it got cut. It catched on and caused a lot of problems, like people entering private property. People walking into traffic. Yeah, that, that's, I'd call that more on people just being stupid. Uh, let me do a quick little look if my bloody phone will... I'll just, I'll just look it up on Google here. I, I know at the very least that there was a, uh, a Hitman game and a Tomb Raider game in that quote-unquote series. Uh, let me see. Open up the correct browser. Let's see. Uh, Hitman Go, was that it? Yeah, it, they were called Go games. Okay. Uh, yeah, just uh, Pokemon Go and the game similar to that <laughs> just overwrote the... Uh, now let's get back to the game. Yeah, it shows parts in orange. We can't... Okay, we can move whilst we have this active. Okay, we just need to get in behind them. Drop down with C. And they call themselves... Y Enix? Yeah, Unix. Unix is basically... Uh, uh, yeah, people who can't reproduce anymore, though if it's specifically because they were castrated or maybe something more, uh, I don't specifically know, and I probably don't want to know either. It's the firecrack of the stunned guards. Okay. And there we go. Uh, but yeah, uh, from what I know, uh, Unix were, basi were basically used as guards for royals because, well, they... Because they basically... Uh, are they too busy talking or something? Uh, yeah, the, either it was because they were just castrated or had the whole thing removed, mostly. Uh, that way they, well, had no reason or no w possible way to uh, screw around with the, uh, the royal women. I think it was just the testicles only, says otherwise... You have all the issues, like take a piss. Okay. So I think uh, just remove the only thing was move a punishment. Probably. Let's see. Okay, there's a hiding spot there. I just need to wait for this guy to I'll look the other way. Oh, there he, he has a friend. And uh, as you can see, uh, their line of sight can be blocked by obstacles and even other characters. Oh dear. Uh, 
I think I heard somewhere that the castration of the can is actually not good for combat abilities. Yeah, it like could be uh, a bit of the testosterone. Yeah, like if you think about it, it uh, people that have done that to dogs, and the dogs behave very differently afterwards. They're not always for the best either. And the same with, uh, happens with humans. I just forgot what the side effects are. So, but it's enough for me to make me wonder if they really were good guards. Yeah, the, 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 the biggest issue that the royals had with them was to keep them from screwing around with the women. Uh, actual combat prowess was a lesser <laughs> priority, I believe. Well, yeah, I, I guess so, they. At least I, I'm I, no historian. I guess, yeah, I guess they were not used for. Well, if, if, if uh, the uh, an arm broke in or anything like that. Yeah, at the very From least, the they, they weren't for. They at least weren't for warfare. Yeah, m more of to deal with uh, if someone snuck into the castle. Probably, or just general peacekeeping. Time to test your sword skills. Prepare to defend yourself. Okay, press W is D in the direction of attacker. Proceed to block an attack. Remember to look for signs your opponent is about to strike. Yes, that's it. This time when you block, perform a rollover. Okay, whilst blocking, press to roll over. There we go. Perfect. This tactic is also good to escape from combat. Attack this enemy. Show me how you strike with your sword. Good. Standard attacks are quick, but they deal little damage. Strike the enemy harder. Simple stuff. Heavy attacks deal more damage. See? The enemy is now weakened. Finish him. Good. Keep going. Basic tutorial stuff. There we go. Yeah, you can't parry a block with your sword and all that, but you should actually not do that. You should deflect a blow instead of directly block them like that. For if you do that, you're gonna wreck your sword's edge. And hello there in the chat, uh, Sober Routini. Been a while oh, since I've seen you. Uh, that's another of... Uh, that's another of Beanie's friends. Weren't they one of the ones that raided us the other day? Uh, I think there was someone else. Yeah. Or, yeah, my memory is failing me again. So, how are you doing, <laughs> Robo? Okay, secondary. Objectives for a score. What were you just trying to say, the Helium? <laughs> uh, before I, yeah, I, I've lost it again, of course. <laughs> you were saying hello there. Uh, let's see. No, I can't stream uh, UA to us internet and not have a powerful PC. So it wasn't me. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was Lethal Life, I believe it was. Yeah. Ah, all right. For. At the moment, the text name is very small, so I was very unsure if I could recognize it or not. Okay. We need to kill... Stay here. No. I'll get the key and get you out of there. Okay. Yeah. Assassinations and targets are highlighted in gold when using Eagle Vision. Though, honestly, he could just totally squeeze through those bars.
Okay. Uh, yeah, I do quite like uh, the Assassin's Creed Chronicles games. Uh, for for Robo, uh, for ooh, I'm, I'm tripping over your name for at the moment. <laughs> yep, stay here to a guy in a J cell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Uh, now I'm drawing, drawing a blank again. Uh, let's see. Can we... I'm not sure if we can hide anywhere there. Let's just follow him and take a look. It doesn't look like it. Oh, we could have... We could have done this. <laughs> we didn't need to kill him. Oh, there does go some bit Well of done. Well done. That's but yeah, I can say here. this. I think uh, streaming the Chronicle games I'd be up for since they're probably not too long and they're probably more easier to stream. Yeah. Since don't we have all the other games where you have to choose dialogue and all that? Uh, that would be uh, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. I haven't played Valhalla yet. Um. Uh, I don't know how long that game is. I know at the very least that oh, not not Origins uh, Odyssey took me a good eighty hours or so to get through. But then again, I was doing a hell of a lot of the side stuff as well. And the, yeah, Odyssey, I it's... can definitely recommend to play if you have a lot of time on your hand. Yeah, and that's the thing. I is, if I understand right, on one games you want to do the side stuff if you want to be able to smoothly handle the rest of the game for people there were some people that just tried to do the main quest and no side stuff and got wrecked yeah because you badly take you the level requirements and such <clears throat> yeah. yeah and then also in some other cases there's another problem since you could easily by accident go into an area where you too level for to be in too easily could happen. Okay, now we move back to the foreground and we can uh, go level a key. I think that was the issue with the Odyssey, but I think they fixed it in Valhalla, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I have Valhalla at the moment. So I'll, I'll likely get it on sale eventually. Yeah, uh, I mostly know what <laughs> I heard from a friend who played it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, did, uh, Zobo, uh, I've, I've, I'm drawing a blank on what this short was. I think it was just Robo, uh, Teeny or something, Robo Teeny, whatever. I'll just call you a Robo for now to keep my thumb from tying itself into knots. Uh, yeah, this, this game does have similarities to Mark of the Ninja, though it, we are far less agile than the Ninja in that. And we can move back and forth into the fore and background. Oh, hello. Your men did not capture me, Galvan. I allow myself to be caught. I was exactly where I wanted to be. Close enough to kill you. <laughs> ah, hobo. Where is the box you took from me? For half of your reach by now. Disaster. One of your tiger brothers must have it. No matter. I will find which one and retrieve it from his still warm corpse. Do you even know what the box is? I know it belongs to the Brotherhood. How naive. Thinking you can retrieve the box. Thinking that killing me will achieve anything. Killing just one of you will not give me the vengeance I seek. You are the first of the tigers to fall, but you will not be the last. There we go. There you go. And I, I already feel what the the box is. <laughs> it's not a loot box. <laughs> it, no, I want to see Pandora's box. Uh, no. And the timer is about to go off. 
so let's pause that. And uh, yeah, let's let's get the intro to the next memory. But after that, we'll end the stream. This was once a safe place for us assassins. Hmm. Sang Yong Steigen saw to the end of that. Their forces surprised and overwhelmed us, all but wiping out the Brotherhood. Gao Feng's death will send a message to the Templars. The assassins have returned. Okay, the return, the same place, same year. With Gao Feng dead, uh, Xiao Yun must now escape through the vast caves and cliff sides of her previous home before the Templars realize one of their masters is dead. And because we got the enough of a score last mission, we did get our health upgrade. And if in this one we could get expanded eagle vision and more throwing knife ammo. But that'll have to wait for when we go actually stream these games. Yeah, no, sadly, this one might be the only one we may stream. Yeah, of the bunch that we've uh, selected today. So let's just move over here and do a bit of a recap. Anno 2070, a uh, good game, but not really my type and not really much good for streaming because it it would most of it would just be, uh, yeah, resource control, just uh, make <laughs> making sure everyone has enough booze and such to be happy. Uh, yeah, that would yeah. just take a hell of a lot of time. Yeah, also hard to commentate over. True. At least for two people. And Archipelago, well, we already finished it. <laughs> yeah, way shorter than you expected. Even me, I did not expect it to be that short even. Yeah, I knew, I remembered that it was short, but not that short. And yeah. Um, Armello. <laughs> Again, good game, but not really our style. Maybe if we find other people to play it with, uh, we could do uh, it then for fun. Uh, Arx Fatalis, it didn't want to work for some reason now. It worked earlier. I'll try to tinker around with it more. Maybe next time that we can do a show, okay, Sunday, we can show it off then. Um, yeah, The Ascent, also pretty good game, but not really our style. It, it does have some pr problems, or at least they had whilst I last played it. Um, and yeah, it just seems like it's more focused for multiplayer with how it's, it's balanced and all. Yeah. And well, Assassin's Creed Chronicles China, the first of three, the second being India and the third being Russia. Uh, yeah, we're, we're streaming those eventually. We'll just have to find a place to actually slot them in. Because we're still busy with uh, Shantae, Rayman, and other games that I played uh, in my childhood. Oh dear. But for now, let's take a look at someone to raid. We have Shrimp OS, who is just chatting at the moment. Do they have a title to say what the hell they're planning on? Uh, no, they, they're probably just finishing up or just doing pre-stream stuff before they actually get to a game because they st they stream a bit longer than we do. I think they typically go for three or four hours or so, but I don't want to take up too much of your time, at least, every day. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Other people who are streaming, we have uh, Wabalablama or Balama, whatever. They are, they're streaming MechWarrior 5. Uh, someone called Hobbitan streaming Brock the Investigator. It's a game I've heard a bit about. Apparently, it it was getting review bombed because a bunch of assholes just didn't like furries. Uh, basically, from what I've heard of that game is, uh, do you know? Do you perhaps know uh, from Sonic uh, Vector the Crocodile or Alligator? I forget which it was. Nope. A uh, big green and scaly. Basically, uh, a private investigator. And, well, from what I've seen, Brock the Investigator is basically what if Vector went solo. <laughs> okay. And then we have Touch Scaly Tail streaming Curse of the Dead Gods. Or is that? Yeah, Curse of the Dead Gods. That Conrad Zimmerman is uh, streaming Spelunky 2 again. Robotron is just chatting. 
family concert. Uh, let's not do that then. And then we have Graham the Wolf, who is streaming Ori and the Blind Forest. Okay. And so, rent me to stream that again sometime? Yeah, that is on the to-do list as well. So, shall we rate them then? Yeah, we can, I guess we can rate those. Yeah, we can rate the, the one to play Ori and the Blind Forest. Okay, I thought the site muted. Apparently not, so we got a bit of their stream audio. Okay. I did not okay. hear it, luckily enough. Uh, we talked over a bit a bit. Okay. Copy their name, go to our channel, slash raid and paste. And before we sound that off, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Hobo Routini, for showing up again. It's, again, it has been quite a while since I've seen or heard of you because I've been missing a lot of Beanie streams. Yeah, because, well, work and just being lazy and getting up too late to actually watch. Uh, I hope I'll be able to join in with some streams of his eventually again. But we'll just have to see when that might be possible. For now, though, uh, yeah, just thank you again. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, life is better, more important than streams. Or in my case, it's just that I get freaking lazy and only get out of bed at like 2 p.m. on free days. Anyways, let's start the raid. Uh, I'll have to double check when where we can stream again in the coming week. Probably not tomorrow or maybe the day after. I don't know if I have a work on Wednesday. So we might be able to stream on Tuesday then. We we have been streaming for almost two entire weeks, so we could still yeah. just take a bit of a break. Yeah, like the only way I could see us stream tomorrow or the day after, or at least tomorrow, it would be if uh, if you work successfully is that bad. <laughs> okay. But uh yeah. We'll get started on a new game for the main week streams and we'll have Shante for the days after and Minecraft and Showcase Sunday for other, if we find time for them. But for now, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls. Come on, Stream Deck. I, I, this stupid thing just keeps... It's just really random with how long it takes to respond or not. Come on. <laughs>